Hello everyone. Welcome to study Ayurveda. Today we are going to study about the Kamala that is jaundice. What is the nirukti of this Kamala? We are going to have the nirukti is mainly Kama Lati Iti Kamala ha. The one which diminishes the desire or loss of desire in activities is called as Kamala. Kama here is a desire. Lati here is loss. There is a loss in the desire. Kustita plus Mala. Here it explains that the accumulation of excessive Mala that is toxins in the body is called as Kamala. Let's see about the Nidhana of Kamala that is Pandurogitu yo atyartam Pittalani nishivate Tasya Pittam Masrup Mamsam Tatva Rogaya Kalpate. Here, the patient who is suffering from the Pandu, that is Pandurogi to Yo Atyattam. The patient of Panduroga, who is suffering from Pandu, or the person who has been recovered from the Pandu, Pittalani Nishevate. The person repeatedly intakes the Pittakara Ahara as well as Vihara. Tasya Pittam Masru Mamsam. Here, it does the that Prakupita Pitta does the Mamsa as well as Asruk Dattva. It burns the Mamsa as well as Asruk and leads to the production of Kamala. What are the types of Kamala? Those are mainly according to Charaka, Koshtashitra Kamala, Shakashita Kamala, Halimaka, Kumbha Kamala. Shushruta has explained Kamala, Halimaka, Kumbha Kamala, Lagaraka. Vakpata has explained Swatantra Kamala, Paratantra Kamala, Kumbha Kamala, Lagaraka and Alasaka. Let's see about the Lakshanas of Koshtashita Kamala. Haridra Netraha, Sa, Brusham, Haridra Thwak, Nakha Ananaha, Rakta Pittam Shakrun Mutro, Bhega Varno Hate Indriyaha, Daha, Avipaka, Taurbalya, Sadanam, Maruchi, Karshitaha. Kamala Bahu Pittesha Kosha Shakashraya Mataha. Here we are going to have the Lakshanas of the Koshtashita Kamala are mainly Haridra Netrata. The eyes became turmeric colored. Haridra Twak. Here is the skin is yellowish in color. Haridra Nakha. Nails also became yellowish. Haridra Anana. Face became turmeric colored. Next, uh, what are the Areas where it is going to do the yellowish discoloration mainly in the netra, twak, nakha and anana. Rakta pitta shakrun mutro. Shakrun mutro. Here the bloody red or yellowish color of feces as well as urine is seen. Bheka varno. The body looks like frog in rainy season. Hatha indriyaha. The destruction of the sense organs and capacity of perception of the sense organ is lost completely. Daha, burning sensation, avipaka, indigestion, daurbalya, weakness is present in that person, sadhanam, tiredness and fatigue is there, aruchi, tastelessness, karshitaha, the person is having the emaciation. So, kamala bahupittesha, koshta shakha shayamataha. So, this type of kamala is called as bahupitta kamala or koshta shakha shrita kamala. Why they have given the name called as Bahupitta Kamala or Kosha Shakashita Kamala? Because there is the increased secretion of Dushta Pitta in the Koshta. The Pitta is increased, produced excessively, that is called as Bahupitta Kamala. And the pathology which is resided in the Koshta, it spreads all over the body to the Shakha and leads to the manifestation of different types of conditions, that is called as Kosha Shakashita Kamala. How this pathology of Koshtashita Kamala affects? First, the Pandurogi is there who is going to use the intake of Pittakara Ahara Vihara. Thus, increased Ushna Tikshna Gunatmaka Aharas in their diet and leads to the Dushta Ahara Rasa. This Dushta Ahara Rasa will lead to Pachaka Pitta Dushti and also Rasa Dushti. That further leads to Agni Mandya. That Agni Mandya causes the Rakta and Mamsa Vidaihyata and it enters into the Yakrut and produces the Koshtashita Kamala. From the Yakrut, the Mala which is coming out, it is mixes with this 
the increased pitta which will be mixes with the mala and yellowish discoloration of the stool is seen and it will be caused due to the pitta prakopakara nidhanas that is called as bahu pitta kamala what is meant by sakashita kamala tila pishta nibham yastu vachah srujati kamali kleshmana ruddha margam tat pittam kapha harair jayet ruksha sheeta guru swadu vyayamair vega nigrahi ಕಫ ಸಮೂಚಿತೋ ವಾಯು ಸ್ಥಾನಾತ್ ಪಿತ್ತಂ ಕ್ಷಿಪೇತ್ ಬಲಿ ಹಾರಿದ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಮೂತ್ರತ್ವ ಶ್ವೇತ ವಚಸ್ತದ ನರಃ ಭವೇತ್ ಸ ಆಟೋಪ ವಿಷ್ಠಂಬೋ ಗುರುಣ ಹೃದಯೇನ ಚ ದೌರ್ಬಲ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಪಾಗ್ನಿ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವ ಅರತಿ ಹಿಕ್ಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಅರುಚಿ ಜ್ವರೈ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಅಲ್ಪೆ ಅನುಸಜ್ಜೇತ್ ಪಿತ್ತೆ ಶಾಖಾ ಸಮಾಶ್ರಿತೆ what is mean by the sakashita kamala let's see so if we start to study as according to the shlokas then it will be very difficult to understand because we have to start with the nidhana then go for the samprapti then go for the lakshanas and lastly go for the chikitsa for it so the nidhana for this sakashita kamala is ruksha sheeta guru swadu vyayamai vega nigrahi here ruksha gunatmaka aharas sheeta gunatmaka aharas guru madhur ahara and also doing vyayama and vega nigraha that will leads to this kapha and vata prakopa okay kapha samuchito vayu sthana pittam chipet balihi this line explains about the samprapti how it happens the vata and kapha prakopa occurred by the intake of the above nidhana that will leads to the kapha samuchana vata the vata is obstructed by the kapha that is obstruction of the passage of pitta in the koshta by the vata so for the moment of vata the kapha is going to obstruct or the samurchana of the kapha over the vata and both together obstructs the flow of pitta in koshta because of the obstruction vimarga gamana of pitta from koshta to the shakha and leads to the manifestation of the below symptoms let's see the lakshanas for it haridra netra mootratvak shweta varchas tada naraha bhavet sa atopa vishtambo gurunam rudayena cha here they explains that haridra netra mootratvak there is a elevated discoloration of the netra that is eyes mootra urine twak skin shweta varchas here rather than yellow discoloration of the stool white is discoloration or tila pishta nibha they have explained that tila pishta nibham nyastu varchah srujati kamali so the stool which resembles like that of the paste of tila or white is discoloration of the stool is seen okay because there is a obstruction to the flow of dushita pishta dushita pitta and it is flowing from koshta to the shakha it does not mix through with the mala so only the shakha gata avayavas where we are going to get the elorist discoloration and in mala we are not going to get any of the discoloration that is the thing we need to remember here this is the differential between the koshta shita and shakha shita kamala bhave sa atopa the person is having the abdominal distension vishthambo vishthambo here is katinata in the koshta ಗುರುಣಾಂ ಹೃದಯೇನ ಚ ಹೆಬಿನಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ದೌರ್ಬಲ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಮ್ಯಾಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಔರ್ ದೌರ್ಬಲ್ಯ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಲ್ಪಾಗ್ನಿ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಗ್ನಿ ದುಷ್ಟಿ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವಾರ್ತಿ ಪೇನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಿಕ್ಕ ಹಿಕಪ್ಸ್ ಶ್ವಾಸ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ನಿಯ ಅರುಚಿ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಜ್ವರ ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಸಫರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಜ್ವರ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಅಲ್ಪೇನ ಅನುಸಜ್ಜೇತ್ pitte shakha samashitaha so because of the alpa pitta this is considered as a alpa pitta kamala and also called as a shakha shita kamala because it is present all over the shakha this is a small twist where we can differentiate the shakha shita kamala with the koshta shita kamala first is the paryaya paryaya here for shakha shita it is alpa pitta kamala for koshta shita it is a bahu pitta kamala nidhana is ruksha shita guru swadu vyayama vega nigraha in case of shaka shita kamala koshta shita kamala we are having pitta kara ahara and vihara doshas are 
ವಾತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಫ ಇನ್ ಶಾಖ ಶೀತ ಕಾಮಲ ಪಿತ್ತ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೋಷಣ ಶೀತ ಕಾಮಲ ಸೊ ಲಕ್ಷಣಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಹಾರಿದ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಮೂತ್ರತ್ವಕ್ ಶ್ವೇತವಚ ಸ್ಥಾ ನರಹ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹಾರಿದ್ರತ ಎಲೋಯಿಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೇತ್ರ ಮೂತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ವಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೂಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಟೋಪ ವಿಸ್ಟಂಬತ ಗುರು ಗುರುತ ಇಂದ ಹೃದಯ ದೌರ್ಬಲ್ಯತ ಅಲ್ಪಾಗ್ನಿ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವಾರ್ತಿ ಹಿಕ್ಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅರುಚಿ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಜ್ವರ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋಷ್ಠಾಶ್ರಿತ ಕಾಮಲ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹಾರಿದ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಸ ವೃಷಂ ಹಾರಿದ್ರ ತ್ವಕ್ ನಖ ಆನನಂ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಯಲೋ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೇತ್ರ ತ್ವಕ್ ನಖ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮುಖ ರಕ್ತಪಿತ್ತ ಶಕ್ರುನ್ ಮೂತ್ರೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರೆಡಿಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯಲೋ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೀಸಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಭೇಕವರ್ಣ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ the skin color of frog there will be discoloration as similar to that of the frog's skin color in the rainy season and there will be loss of functioning hatha indriya ha there will be loss of functioning of the indriyas daha avipaha daurbalya satana aruchi karshita ha let's see about kumbhakamala kalantarat kharibhuta kruchra sat kumbhakamala here kalantara means due to course of time the kamala takes the chronic state kharibhuta kharibhuta here is there will be abdomen distension and there will be a collection of the fluid in the abdomen kruchrat sat kumbhakamala ha and it will be very difficult to manage that is called as kumbhakamala let's see about the asadya lakshanas of the kumbhakamala those are krishna pita shakran mudro here there will be the blackish and yellowish discoloration of the mutra as well as purusha brusham shunascha manavaha there will be all over the body the person is having edema and there will be bulging of the abdomen and collection of the fluid beside and sa rakta akshi mukha there will be akshi muk sa rakta akshi mukha chardi vind mutro yascha there will be reddish discoloration of the netra mukha chardi vin vin means here is purusha and mutra okay next yascha tamyate here the person experiencing the blackouts in front of his eyes okay daha person suffers from burning sensation aruchi there will be anorexia trishna there will be excessive excessive thirst anaha there will be abdominal distension tandra there will be a lassitude to the patient mucha the person again and again undergoing the state of unconsciousness okay there will be nashtagni sanyaha there will be agni drushti or agni nashana kshipramhi kamalavan dipatyate so the person suffering from all the above lakshanas with the kumbhakamala immediately the person is going to die let's see about the halimaka halimaka is nothing but the chronic jaundice which is complicated with the fever let's see what are the lakshanas of halimaka yadato pandu pandor varnaha syat dvirati shyava pitakaha balotsaha kshayastandra mandagnitva mrudujwaraha strishva strishva aharsho vangamatascha shwasa trishna aruchi pramaha halimakam tada tasya ವಿದ್ಯಾತ್ ಅನಿಲ ಪಿತ್ತ ದ ಲಕ್ಷಣಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹಲಿಮಕ ಆರ್ ಯದಾತು ಪಾಂಡೋರ್ ವರ್ಣ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಧರಿತ ಶಾವ ಪೀತಕ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿ ಪಾಂಡು ರೋಗ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹರಿತ ಶಾವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀತಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಮ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಲೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಬಲೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಕ್ಷಯ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಸಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ತಂದ್ರ ಲ್ಯಾಸಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇ ಮಂದಾಗ್ನಿತ್ವ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಅಗ್ನಿ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮೃದು ಜ್ವರ ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಸಫರ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಮೃದು ಜ್ವರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೋನಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಂಡಿಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫೀವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಶ್ವ ಆಹರ್ಷೋ ವಂಗಮರ್ಧಶ್ಚ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಲ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಏಕ್ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಶ್ವಾಸ ತೃಷ್ಣ ಅರುಚಿ ಪ್ರಮಃ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸಫರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ನಿಯ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸಫರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್
and the person suffers from aruchi tastelessness the person suffers from brahma there will be giddiness halimakam tada tasya vidya tanila pittataha because of the involvement of vata along with pitta this halimaka disease is manifested so it is very important to remember the cardinal symptom of this halimaka it is associated with the jwara and also there will be a loss of strength in that person there will be excessive emaciation dehydration anorexia is present let us see about the panaki what is meant by panaki the jaundice which is complicated with the diarrhea is called as panaki it is specially explained by the madhavanidhana santapo bhinna varchastvam bahirantascha pitataha panduta netrayoresya panaki lakshanam bhavet here the person is having the symptoms of santapa there will be increased body temperature bhinna vachas here is the diarrhea okay bahirantascha pitataha here there will be yellowish discoloration from inside as well as from outside here inside as well as outside means the outside we are going to see the yellowish discoloration in eyes in face in nails as well as in the skin and antascha pitata here is there will be yellowish discoloration in the urine in the feces okay panduta netrayor rasya panduta netrayor rasya panaki lakshanam bhavet panduta here mainly you have to concentrate here there will be pallorness present in the eyes that is the main characteristic feature which we are seeing in case of panduroga pallorness in the eyes as well as in the mouth so the main cardinal feature in case of panaki here we have to remember person has the elevated or increased body temperature associated with the bhinna varchas that is diarrhea or loose stools bahirantascha pitataha there will be uh, external as well as internal yellowish discoloration of the body contents as well as body parts and panduta there will be specific feature that they have explained here is there will be pallorness of the eyes as well as the mouth inside the mouth we are going to see it and this is the lakshanas of the panaki